hit the dealership and give them every dime they ask for. Why I need a credit card? What you think this cash for? Hit the dealership and give them every dime they ask for. Just so I can see 260 on the dashboard. Let's talk about this scam, man. Let's talk about this scam because people still don't get it, you know. And the reason why I'm exposing this video is because, or should I say making this video, is because if people aren't careful, they'll be even in more debt than what they was, right? Nobody's against credit. But sometimes when you talk about credit, people laugh at you or laugh at the thought. They, they basically make it seem like credit is the best thing on earth, like credit is better than cash. And I'm still waiting for somebody to explain this. The only way I would say credit is better than cash is if you get credit to get cash. Meaning, say I get a credit loan to open a business. That's different. Yeah, credit would be better because you're not reaching in your, uh, your bank or whatever you got. You're using some other money to make money. But that's the key, people. You're making money. See, this world is on this kick of get you a credit score and, and that's all you need and your life is your life is figured out. If that's the case, if credit is the case, if credit is God, right? Why why that why are so many people that have used credit or took the credit route? Why are they in bad positions? Maybe not bad positions but not in no rich person position. If credit was so great and, and it makes it's the answer to everything, then a lot of motherfuckers around here would be rich, right? Nothing is wrong with credit, but if you can do it cash, why would you not? Why would you pay more for something? Let me break it down in lower terms for people who, who uh, get lost with the, the zeros, the commas and all that. If I, got t if I borrowed $10 on credit, to uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I get, I get $10 on credit and I have $10 cash. Guess what? I gotta pay back something on that credit. Which one's better to have? Is it better for me to have the $10 to buy what the fuck I want or to get it on credit? To build up some credit score that people act like it's some type of God. Maybe if you wanna get a house, maybe. I can understand that in a way. But even then, even then, you would be better off being some millionaire that just buys a house cash, if anything. Unless you're going to use that credit to get that house and make money off that house, once again, about that money part. At the end of the day, it does not matter how you slice up this credit shit, you still owe back more money than what you would if you paid for a cash. Bottom line, no way around it. Nope, nobody's saying credit is obsolete. Credit has its places depending on your position in life. But people act like cash is still not the king and that's bullshit, it is. It's still better. If you went out and got a business right now, well, if you could get a business right now and make money off of it and you made your money back quick, I get it. You, you did that, you didn't use money out your bank, but you still owe that money back. Some people have this illusion that if I get credit, I don't owe it back. You still owe it back, dog. You still owe it back. There's no way around it. And you owe more back. No way around it, people. So be careful when it comes to this credit shit because a lot of people are making you believe that it's okay or that's the way to go in life. And like I said, if this was the case, then we would have a whole bunch of motherfuckers out here just millionaires everywhere because they got credit, right? Because they went and got credit somewhere and now they got life all figured out. It don't work that way, does it? Credit is debt, no, no matter how you look at it. And a lot of people are saying, well, I would go get a house. Uh, uh, my credit is good, so I'm buying a house and you're paying rent for this much or whatever they say. And I get it, man. I get it to a certain extent, but it's still debt. You're still paying no matter what you say. No matter how you look at it, you're still paying. Unless you buy that house to make money off of that house. That's a different story. So my advice to everybody is if you if you can help it, because sometimes you can't. Your life is life. You got kids, you might need a car, you might need a car on a loan. Who knows? It, it is what it is. But if you can help it, don't get credit, y'all. You don't need all this, it built my credit score up. For what? 
to to owe money. And and this is how I'm gonna end this shit. I'm gonna end this shit right here because this is this is the nail in the coffin for people who say that credit is better than cash. If credit is better than cash, then why do the billion trillionaire people of the world who loan you credit use that to get cash from you? They told you you need credit, but then they get trillions of dollars in cash from you for the credit. But I thought credit was all king. I thought credit, my friend was laughing at, at my shit on, on, on his shit. I thought credit was king. Then why do the people who loan credit get your cash then? Somebody got to explain this shit to me. Make it make sense. Shouldn't they want credit? Shouldn't they want credit? Shouldn't the billionaires of the world want credit instead of cash? Even though they got credit. By the way I'm trying to explain it, shouldn't they want your credit? Not your cash? Because credit's worth more, right? Nah, they use that credit to get cash from you, man. Plain and simple, off the interest. Everybody paying interest on houses and all that. That's how they making their money, man. All they did was make us believe that we need credit. You get credit, get you a house, and, and, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't fall for the illusion that it, it, it's the best way. If you had cash to get the house, you would have been better off. If you had cash to drop on a, a, to buy the whole house out flat, you would have been better off because you would not have owed them nothing except for fucking property to property tax. You wouldn't owe them nothing. Now they're getting all this extra money from everybody because everybody believes credit is is better than cash. It's the it's the most bull. If I just imagine some of y'all friends buying cars. Whatever they buy, they paying extra versus paying cash, man. No way around it. You could say, oh, it's I only had to pay a little bit here and there and this and that. Don't matter, man. The point is you're paying more for it. This car right here was $20, 20000 cash. But at first I tried to finance it, listening to everybody else, you know, back then, listening to everybody else, it was like $25. $5,000 for what? A couple of points on my credit score? I don't think so. I started thinking about it. Like, nah, hell no, nah, I'm taking this back. I mean, I, I said, nah, I don't want this. I'm just going to pay cash. And that motherfucker was mad, man. Because he can't make no money off of it because I'm paying cash. So stop with the bullshit, y'all. If you gotta, if you gotta get credit, use it to your advantage. Use it smartly. Use it wisely. But all this, all this illusion that oh yeah, my credit score is is 850, so I got it made. I'm a millionaire. No, you're not. You just about to be somebody who's gonna be borrowing fucking money, who who gets a, a lower interest rate. That's it. You still borrowing the money, and that's the key. You still have to borrow money versus you already got your shit you already got your shit intact i don't need to borrow money here's the cash right here i'm about to open this business or whatever i'm doing you know what i mean i feel like buying this car i'm buying it flat out ain't no fucking finance and i ain't giving you extra money for the same fucking car or the same house or whatever you fucking get credit on man and another thing i use credit i use credit cards daily all the time right i use credit cards all the time but guess what people I don't use it because I don't have the cash to do it. I use it because I get paid cash back when I use that credit card, right? But guess what? There's no interest because at the end of the month, everything I use gets taken off that card. I don't use it and then pay them interest. I wouldn't do it. It wouldn't make sense. The only reason why I do it is because cash don't give me cash back on my card. This credit shit does if, but the key is, I'm not paying them extra, y'all. When it comes to credit, if you can avoid it, some people, you have to have a car. Okay, you got to have a car. Fuck it. You ain't got enough money. You need to get a loan. I got it. I get it. Or you ain't got a house. You got kids. You need to get a loan. I get it. But my thing is, I'm trying to tell y'all how they brainwash us into believing that just get credit in, and it's the best thing in the world. That's bullshit. Because all they doing is making money off of us. That's all they doing. So don't go telling other people the same thing that they that they made us believe. Like, yeah, just get your credit, dog, and go get your house and all this. Man, you might be better off paying rent for a house right now, saving your money up to uh, open a business, and you could buy a house cash one day. Matter of fact, you might buy a couple houses that pay you money versus, oh, let me go put this money down on this whole house, and now it's hard for me to even get ahead in life. See how they lie to y'all, man? It's the fucking truth, man. Some people are in debt with cars. Some people don't even have a house, but have an $80,000 car in debt. 
It don't matter if you make payments on it or you got it on credit and, and all this and all that. You still pay more. If if somebody came up with eighty thousand cash, matter of fact, they'd be like, "Here's sixty. I'll give you sixty cash right here." It, they might have got that car and walked. You pay eighty thousand credit. Now you gotta pay ten to twenty thousand interest. Come on, man. The shit don't add up. The numbers don't add up. The moral is this, people: if credit, if um, if if money was nothing then why do the people who loan us credit, the billionaires of the world, the trillionaires in the world, why do they loan us credit for cash? If cash is fucking nothing, because I have an argument with this with people with this all the fucking time. If, if cash is nothing and credit is everything, why do the people who lend you the credit want your cash? Why? If it don't, it don't make sense. Think, man, think. It does matter. Cash does matter. All of it matters. It all matters, cause look, what if you about to what if you about to open this business or something, right? And you just don't want to put all your money down on it. You like, I could just go get this credit, open it, and then maybe the business will pick up fast enough to where I could pay off the credit quick, and I still got all that money in the bank, or I could use that money for something else. I get that, I understand that, but you're using that credit to get money. You're not using that credit to buy something. There's a difference. So when people use credit, they buy a house, you're buying something until you figure out how to make that that house pay you back or you double your profit or whatever you try to do. It's really, it's, it's, it's not good. It's a debt. It's debt. That's all it is. Just like a car. That's all it is. That's why I refuse to buy a brand new car. Why? Why would I? When I could just wait, find a car that looks brand new down there, 10,000 miles, 20,000 miles, way less money. It just don't make sense. The car's not paying me back. Everybody trying to keep up with the Joneses. John, Donald Trump and them, don't, they'll tell you right away, it's stupid to buy a car. Grant Cardone tell you, why'd I buy this Rolls Royce? Dumb. But he did it with passive income. That's the whole point that I'll be trying to tell people. Fuck credit. Passive income. Fuck credit. Passive income. I'm going to say it one more time. Fuck credit. Passive income. That's what you should be looking for. Everybody trying to get a credit score. Fuck a credit score. Give me passive income. Give me passive income, dog. That means money that's making money when you ain't there or you this you get what I'm saying. You sleep and you making money. What the fuck is a credit score gonna do? Credit score making me money in my sleep? Not really, unless I put it down on something that's making some money. That's the only way y'all should be using credit, man. Unless you have no choice. Unless you gotta get this car. You gotta get the sometimes you ain't got no choice. You in the situation. I under, I get it. I came from nothing. I get it. But if you got a choice, man, don't do it. Don't be dumb out here like that, man. Don't do it, people. Because cause all it is, it's a trick. It can work to your benefit, but you got to be careful. And honestly, you really got to be on your feet for credit to work to your benefit because you're only, you really don't even need the credit. You're just using it for certain things. You see what I'm saying? Versus you're flat the fuck out down on your luck and you need to use it. You're running up a credit card and shit. Now you're in more debt. All this shit, man. So I'm out, man. Y'all get it or y'all don't, man. Nobody said, again, I'm not saying that I'm against credit. I'm not. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is be careful how you use it. You see what I mean? Be careful how you use it because it could be evil if it's not handled right, just like money. Just like money. That shit could backfire on you if you don't. It should only be used for making money. That's it. It should not be used for nothing else unless you have no choice. Stop believing these people, man. Bottom line, man, I'm out this motherfucker, man. And this is what I'm going to say before I go, because I know there's still doubters saying oh, he don't know what he's talking about. Okay, then why do the people who loan you credit want cash for your credit? That's the whole point of them creating the credit, to get billions and trillions of dollars from everybody. That's why they made credit. Plain and simple. In fact, that's why they even made houses. They don't want you to know that either. But we could be smart and make money off of houses instead of let me buy my dream home. No, fucking buy houses that make money, then use that to buy your dream home. That's how you do a passive income. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why I don't have a house yet. Not because I couldn't get one. No, because I understand that really house a house is a liability until I figure out how to make that motherfucker earn me uh, some type of money. There's no other way around it. If not, it's not paying me. I'm paying the house. Period. Only other thing I give to a house is you got kids. That's different. But let's say you didn't. The only other excuse I will give to you is maybe your rent is as high as a mortgage. Then maybe I can see why you would get a house. But then now you're tied up in the mortgage. 
See what what if what if all that money you putting in that house could go towards a business or something? But if your rent is the same as the fucking mortgage, you if you got high ass rent, yeah, you probably should buy a house. But if you could find somewhere who a good ass place and the and the the rent is half the fucking mortgage, come on, man, it's not even it's no brainer. But my rent getting to the point, it's like a fucking mortgage. So I gotta make a decision, either try to find a better deal or or get a house or something. But still, even then, if I did that, that's debt automatically. Unless it's a house you could buy flat out. Period, people. I'm out, man.